Topic is Construction of Floral Diagram and Floral Formula in Reproductive Morphology in Plant Morphology and Taxonomy of Angiosperm. So, construction of a floral diagram and floral formula. So, this is a simple way to explain the salient features of a flower. So, what are the things are present in the flower? That is, things is nothing but the parts and how they are arranged in the, in the uh, thalamus portion, in the receptacle. So, the floral diagram is the representation of the cross section of the flower. So, it is the cross section of the flower and how the floral words are arranged at the top. That is, when you view, when you are seeing from the top of the flower, how it is arranged that the same diagram was given in the floral diagram. The floral diagram shows the number, arrangement of bract, bracteoles, floral parts, fusion, overlapping and placentation. The branch that bears the flower is called the mother axis. So, nothing but the stalk where the flower arises from the stem. That portion is called the mother axis. So, the side of the flower facing the mother axis is called posterior side and the side of facing the bract is the anterior side. So, you can see here, I will show in this diagram. So, this position is the mother axis and this is the posterior means back side. And this position, this is the bract, it faces the front side. That is anterior position of the flower. Okay, now you have an idea about the mother axis. So, the numbers of different floral worlds are shown arranged in concentric rings. So, like a rings, the uh, flow, that is floral parts are arranged in the form of, you can see, no, this one ring and this one and this one. It is in the form of rings, the floral worlds are arranged. So, BR, in the floral formula, you can see BR, EBR, like that. So, that means what you must know. BR represents bracteate, presence of bract. EBR represents E bracteate, absence of bract. BRL represents bracteolate. EBRL represents E bracteolate. So, bracteolate, BRL means presence of bracteoles. EBRL means absence of bracteole. And you can see this doctor symbol. This represents the actinomorphic and the percentage symbol represents the zygomorphic. Actinomorphic means what? The flower can be cut at any plane and gives two equal halves. And zygomorphic means the plan, that is the flower can be cut at one, one plane and it gives two equal halves. And this symbol represents staminate flower or male flower. This symbol represents the pistillate flower. And this symbol represents the bisexual. The presence of staminate and pistillate symbol represents both the sex are present in the same flower that is called bisexual flower. Calyx. Calyx is represented by K. So K5. So like this it is means aposepalus means free sepals. So, K with bracket, you have the number ones. Inside the bracket, you have number means K, five sepals are sin sepalus. So, fused sepals. So, the corolla C, it is represented by C. And C5, without brackets, it is called five petals. Upper petalus means free petals. And C5, five in brackets means five petals, sin petalus, that is free. And C, 2 plus 3 in brackets represent bilabiate, that is with upper lip two loops. So, the upper lip you have two loops like this. The upper petal is uh, uh, th like this, it will have when you draw means or you will draw like this also. Okay, like this it uh, means then it is called as bilabiate condition. Andresium it is represented by A. 
So three stamens are free. Okay. A3 means three stamens are free. And A2 plus 3, that is 2 plus 2, not 3. A2 plus 2 means stamens 4. In two worlds, they are arranged in two worlds. Two, uh, two rows, they are arranged in two rows, didynamous. Okay, so they are free. That is A, 9 in bracket, 1 in free means, that is stamens 10, diadelphus, two bundles. Nine stamens are in one bundle, united and uh, one, uh, one uh, stamen is free in one bundle. That is, it forms one bundle. And you can see C5A5 with the connection above the C and A. That condition is epipetalous condition, the arc symbol. A0, that is staminode, sterile stamen or absence of stamens. Gynesium or pistil, it is represented by G. So, G2 means carpals 2. Free means upper carpus. If the G2, 2 is inside, 2 or 3 inside the bracket, then it is called syncarpus, fused carpus. G0 means fistulate, sterile carpal. So, G superior. So, if the, you see that the line is below G, then the ovary is superior. If the line is above the G, then it is called inferior ovary. If the line is in between the G, then it is called semi-inferior ovary. This is, this symbol is indefinite units. That means infinity. If the uh, stamens or corolla or anything may be more in number, that represents this indefinite number of units. Okay. So that, that is the formula. And you can see here the outer one it is the bract and this one is the bracteoles and this one is the calyx that is the calyx. You can see the connection means it is a fused calyx here and inside this one it is the petal condition or corolla condition which is in twisted estivation. So twisted estivation and they are free, uh, free, free inside that it is the stamens. They are forming one single bundle. And you can see here the five carpal, pentacarpal. This is the systematic, that is uh, floral diagram of hibiscus. So, bract was there. You can write it as BR. This, this is called bracteoles. So, bracte bracteoles is seen here. So, BRL and you can cut at any plane. You can give two equal halves. So, actinomorphic. So, andresium, andresium and gynesium are present here. That is, stamens and carpels are present. So, it is a bisexual. And calyx 5, how much you can see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 are few. So, calyx, in brackets you can write the 5. And corolla 5, they are free. So, C5, andresium, infinity, you cannot able to count. So, and it is indefinite in a single bundle. So, you can put the infinity symbol inside the bracket and the gynesium are 5 in number. So, 5 fused syncarpus that is, clo that is closed uh, and your superior means you have to put the line below the G. And this round is the mother axis of the flower. And this is Ixora coccinea. Here only the bract is present and the calyx are 4 in number. And they are volvate, so they are fused here. That is fused calyx, volvate distillation. Uh, fused calyx is called syncephalus. And even the corolla, the petals are also fused. So they are sympetalous. And the stamens are few attached to the corolla. It is called epipetalus. And two carpels is seen. So bract is here. So you are writing BR. No bracteal, so EBRL. Actinomorphic. Uh, and uh, andresium, gynesium both are seen here. So, bisexual symbol. Calyx 4 and it is fused. Corolla 4, it is fused. Andresium 4 and it is epipetalus. You are putting a arc here. And gynesium 2. Gynesium 2. But here it is a, it is inferior ovary. It's inferior. Inferior. And that is um, inferior. Oh, sorry. Superior ovary. So, the symbol here it is down. Okay. Next, you can see the 
Philanthus amorous, the male and the female one. And you can see the brat and uh, the perient one. Uh, that is they are in two rows they are in two rows three into two is six tepals are six they are in two rows and they are free and the stamens are three in number and the gynesium you can see an into symbol that is pistillate so for that the br is there br ebrl means absence of bracteoles actinomorphic male and perian three plus three andricium three fused okay Gynesium 0. The same thing here. The gynesium was absent. You can see the inter intermark. Others are same. So, BR, EBRL, actinomorphic, bisexual, that is, it is not a bisexual flower, unisexual. So, female flower, perian 3 plus 3, andricium 0, gynesium 3, superior. Ovary. And the coccus nucifera. Coccus nucifera, the coconut flower. This is male 1, bracteate, that is, bractus seen. And the tepals are in two whorls, okay, two whorls, this one whorl and this one whorl and the stamens and in, you can see this in two symbol which represents the pistillate that is BR, EBRL, actinomorphic, male flower, perian 3 plus 3 in two whorls free and andricium 3, 3 plus 3 that is in two whorls and gynesium is 0 and the female flower you can see the bracteate. Uh, and tepals in two whorls and the middle you can see the plant, uh, gynesium ovary that is cross section of ovary br ebrl so br is there ebrl and uh, the over uh, actinomorphic female flower symbol perian 3 plus 3 andricium 0 gynesium 3 and superior ovary Hope you understand the topic. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. If you want to watch the video in Tamil, I have given the link in the description box. You can go and watch it. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.